All right, since it is 12.04 and it's time to start class today, we'll start with the second part of class where we're going to go over more of the basics of the class, the nitty-gritty details, the things that you need to know to get through the class. And for all of those of you who wanted to say you want to get an A, these are the things that will help you get to that A. To also help you understand what the class is. But the most important question we have at the beginning, of course, is the so what question. Now when I say the so what question, I mean why does this class matter? What difference does it make? Why should you bother taking this course? And that seems like something that people don't often ask about their classes. How many of you have taken a class and you have no idea why you were taking this class, why you were there? Okay, so a couple of you had classes where you have no idea why you were there, what the point of this class is. And unlike some other classes, public speaking is a very obvious point for most careers. Because public speaking is a skill that every employer desires. Unless you're going to be a rocket scientist or a brain surgeon or something like that, you're going to need public speaking as a skill. And recent surveys of employers have said that oral communication skills are the thing that they feel are most lacking in the job market. So gaining better oral communication skills will position you much better in the job market when compared to the average college graduate. So this class is going to help you develop a skill that is essential to getting a good job later on. But it's also essential in building your creative thinking or, and your critical thinking skills. Because building your critical thinking skills requires you to be able to express your ideas. And if you can't express your ideas orally, it's hard to demonstrate your critical thinking. Because all of your thoughts take place in your brain. And if I can't relay the thoughts in my brain to your brain, it doesn't matter what thoughts are in my brain. So working on your oral communication skills will help you express your creative thinking and your critical thinking. And, but you may also develop some critical thinking skills along the way in terms of adapting to audiences, adapting to contexts, adapting to situations. Because different situations and different contexts will require different plans, different evidence, and different strategies. So the three major reasons that you should take this class. In other words, what difference this class makes are this class will teach you a job skill. This class will allow you to express your existing creative and critical thinking skills. And this class will help you enhance your existing creative and critical thinking skills. And I recorded this speech for a reason that I will get to in a little bit. <laughs> 